Hi, it's me again with Corel Drill Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this clip art of some cattails and want to make it look like this. So I did it for them and then I thought I'd make a video on how to do it. And I didn't do great. Um, but this is pretty easy. This thing is already pretty small. Don't have to do anything. So let's click on it. And you can see it's a bitmap. We're going to go trace bitmap, outline trace clip art which I use 99% of the time and it works pretty well. Now you'd want to inspect it. We got some problems. So the easiest for me to do would be to go to object and group and ungroup it and then left click, right click. And instead of spending the time to re and I am going to change this file he draws in two points. I draw in here lines, and there's a reason for that. And I want this to be a hairline because it's easier to manipulate and look around, see if there's any problems. Like right there, it's a problem. Um, good catch. I'd even maybe go down. But instead of taking the time to fix this. The other two are pretty symmetrical. If we take a two point line and two point line, take this one and just virtual segment delete key everything. But take this one and use the smart fill tool. And I'm going to left click, right click, and then I'm going to rotate it. You know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to get it closer. I'm going to get rid of these lines. And I'm going to get a little bit closer to my subject. And then I am going to click on it, double click on it, and move the rotation to that point right there. Then I can rotate it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll get it close. And then a number of things you can do. You can just bring your nodes out, take your virtual segment delete key, and delete that. Now, every time you do something like that, you want to smart fill it. But I want to actually critique a little bit more. Um, make it a little bit more rounder. Cattails are, if you've never seen one out in the wild, they're pretty, pretty unique and pretty symmetrical. At the bottom, at least. Um, we'll call that good enough for the video. So, like I said, every time you do something, take your smart field and fill it in, and then that makes smart field creates a new object. And then what we can do is left click, right click, and I'm going to make a duplicate of this because we're going to use it later. Let me just get these out of the way. And this is where your artistic ability will come in. You know what? I can get rid of the yellow box now. Don't need it. I'm hitting the plus key on the keyboard. I'm going to move that around. And I'm going to go ahead and mirror it sideways so it's, it's the opposite of that plan. And then you could do a number of things. Uh, I would not uh, do it again. I would hit the plus key and then move that one over here. You know, have a little space. Maybe make it a little bit taller. Because we could always take... I must not have made a copy of it. Hit the plus key on your keyboard. Move that over and actually make it a little bit taller than the rest of them. We might not have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and take my nodes and bring this down. Okay. And then maybe we could, you know, to make it easier, I'm just going to hit the plus key and just move them away. You know, you could move them up or down, you know, have some shorter ones. And I'm going to do that one more time. And you, if you ever mess up and, and made a duplicate and they didn't move, um, get rid of them or move them like I did out of the way because they will give you problems when we're, when we're welding. So I've got them pretty much like that. I'm going to go ahead and take all these and weld them. And by just making sure it's going to work, I'm going to take the smart fill tool and fill it in. And voila. But now we can take in this plant. So we need more foliage, I think, than we need cattails. So I'm going to take a two-point line, and I'm going to just cut those um, 
cattail seed pods off. Then I can get rid of my lines. And, you know, there's a lot you could do with this. You could, you could actually leave them like that, but make them actually look like the other uh, reeds of the grass. So we could bring that and just bring it over and then take your, you know, um, and I'm not taking a lot of time. Um, we could actually try deleting that node and then bring one side out. You just want to make sure you close all the gaps and I'm going to call that good. You could spend a little more time on it. But I did alter it, so I'm going to use the Smart Fill tool to fill that in. And that made sure everything's sealed. And then I'm going to left click, right click it. And I'm going to make it, maybe make it a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to go through here and hit the plus key and uh, maybe have them not so, you don't want them uniform. You know, maybe have those two, maybe even flip them, mirror it. You know, maybe move that one back there a little bit, plus key, you know, put it up in there and you could actually have it come taller. I don't think we're going to need it, but we're going to go and take the shape tool and bring this down. And let's do one more. And we'll put it like right there. Now select everything and weld it. And voila, you have cattails, an array of them. It is ironic, I just helped somebody the other night. Now, I have two crossing, you know, that look symmetrical, so you might want to play with that, uh, you know, before you welded all of them together, but um, you could look at stuff like that. Everything else, besides these two crossing, uh, everything else kind of looks uh, good. Anyway, and then if you wanted to, uh, this is all well together, you can left click, right click, and if you wanted to make it look like it was on water, you could take a, a two-point line and run it through there and actually have it pretty tight. And then just take your virtual segment delete key. And you could probably weld this, but by the time you figure out which weld is going to work, you could uh, virtual segment delete key them. And I always say delete, whoop. Uh, so do the ones between the plants. Um, doesn't take but just a second. Just probably be better to zoom in. And if you hit your Z key, if you'd keep your hand on the Z key, it would uh, be a lot quicker to do stuff like this. And you could, you know, you could still manipulate some of the reeds to make it not look so, you know, symmetrical at this time. But I would do this first. I would go ahead and go to Smart Fill. I mean, look at that. Now, if you could find a clip art like that, it might, you know, you might spend more time cleaning it up than you would ever do this. And like I said, if you wanted to change it up a little bit, you could always take the, you know, Smart Fill tool or the Shape tool and change your reads up a little bit. You know, make them where it's, you know, you, you couldn't fix it where you could. Um, well, let's just fix one. Let's say the one right in the middle is going to be most not a, a noticeable. I would just take a two-point line and go from there to there, there to there, and take your virtual segment delete key and delete. Oh, so I must not have it far enough in there. Let's try uh, grabbing that with the shape tool and bring it in. That's what it is right there. It's it's a node that really won't connect. Let's see if it will now. Oh, I know why. Because um, I didn't cut this off. So we're going to take our virtual segment or two-point line. Then we can cut this off. That way you've gotten rid of that double read uh, shape tool. You can still delete things, but you need to... You need to close this read in and be real easy with the shape tool just to bring it over. And that looks pretty good. And then like always, once you've done something, take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And that way you don't have any that are 
so symmetrical. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.